video actually uh, a long time ago but I wasn't so a fan of uh, streaming actually but there has been so many people uh, not many but my friends at least asked me how I do all those buildings and uh, design I'm doing so I'm gonna help you out with some tricks and tips <coughs> first I'm just gonna take away this ship it's always in the way <coughs> Um, <clears throat> when I'm doing bases, I'm mostly doing it uh, just of the look of it, so people can have uh, a little bit more uh, <coughs> be inspired by the build itself and see how how they can build actually and what they can do. You can do pretty much anything, what the shapes and angles of the builds that you have and the tools that you have. <clears throat> to be uh, to build a normal base is pretty simple. You can just snap on everything. It's uh, simple enough. So you can see here you have uh, most of this. You have the doors, different doors you can snap on. Um, I don't use the structures here so much when I'm doing design. I have this one, which is pretty cool sometimes to use. I pretty much measure out how far I can go up with this tool here when I'm doing towers or something. Because it has a limit. <coughs> it has a limit to uh, both sides and around and also it has a limit to um, uh, to how much you can build. I have a feel around where the memory is going to end. And if you build enough you will have the feeling too. I love building, so uh, that's why I'm, I'm mostly going in. And I'm using creative mode. <coughs> that's the best uh, part. Because nothing costs anything here. So you can pretty much build whatever you want. Uh, especially, I mean, how much the memory will uh, provide for you. So you have a memory of 99%. Uh, I don't know exactly how much it is. Uh, but it's... It's enough to build a normal base <coughs> or do a pretty cool design. Uh, as you can see here, uh, all these structures here, <coughs> I don't, uh, I don't use them much. Uh, I use them as a skeleton maybe sometimes. All the structures here is a little bit cheaper than uh, than the cube structures. These guys here. I mostly use the cube structure even if it actually takes out more percentage of the memory uh, than, uh, than these guys here. When I'm doing tower maybe I'm using one of those up, high up. But um, I will show you how to... Uh, this is the easiest buildings to make, to make a base. I will show you how to do it a little bit more advanced, then I'm gonna use uh, these guys here, the infrastructure. That's gonna form the outer part of, of the base. You can uh, do m pretty much anything with it. And I will show you how to center these. Um, I've come up with a way to center them pretty good. Just put one of those there and then you put up a cube. <coughs> Cupid room. Like this. You can have a glass or the other one. Glass is easier to find because you can see here, this is the center part you need to uh, to check for. I'm going to show you how. First, <coughs> you're going to put up an infrastructure up here. Uh, this one is called the wall because you can do you can do um, you know it high up as as possible. I use this sometimes. Not much because it takes everything you do takes up memory. So these here <coughs> take up just as much memory as this one. So you have to think about what kind of stuff you're using for the builds pretty much. But what I do is I uh, put one of those up there, put one down, uh, one to the side, put three down <coughs> and then, I'm sorry I have a little bit of a cold. This didn't align so good. So we're gonna do this on another place. So I need to align the 
the infrastructure with the inner part of the cupids. So how you do this? It's not that advanced, but it's a little bit of trick doing it. <coughs> but you will get used to it when you do more and more builds. So it's a perfect way to check out um, what you want to build and uh, you know what kind of memory gets used out of memory. And if you really like to build and do a lot of design like I do, then you can do this over and over. So you check here, you see the box? It's actually not aligned with the bar, right? So what you do here is that you check where it stripes in like that, if you can see the higher top of it. Then you actually just swipe it down to the side like this and try to align it still not aligned. So this is the tricky part. <laughs> this could take a while. And you will do some mistakes in the beginning. <coughs> But when you see it's coming up at the same time almost, it's not really there. You just need to line it a little bit more. There, you see, it's coming almost coming up at the same time. Let's micromanagement around here. Here, no, not really. Just a little bit more. A little bit to the side. So here you see that uh, it actually goes up almost the same. You see? So now we need to align this to the side of this one. <coughs> the thing is that if two cubes uh, needs to go together on one of these uh, big cubes. <coughs> so even if you move yourself right now, it should still be aligned. <coughs> It's easier to see on another planet than shadows, actually. So here, you go to the side and try to line this. You put a little bit inside of the cube and try to center that one. Don't forget that the cube will go a little bit out, so you need to pull it a little bit out. Like this. And then you push it down, and then you should have an okay alignment with the, the cube itself. <coughs> so if you check here, on this side, it's almost the same alignment as this side. So wherever you build, these guys will always be aligned with the cube. So I will, sh I will show you here. You will of course see these cubes inside of uh, glass structures and all of that. But it doesn't matter, I mean you can do a really really cool base with this. Um, but that's how you align those infrastructure together with the cubes. So that's the first part of doing some a little bit more advanced design based. So as you can see, these guys will align pretty, uh, pr pretty close to the, to the boxes. As you can see here, so I can actually do a uh, total base encased with all these boxes and stuff. Uh, there are of course some things that you need to think about. Um, that is, always try to keep a box somewhere and always try to keep these guys. Because if you erase all these, you have to start over again and check out where the center is. So now you can do pretty much whatever you want with these structures here. You can put that down here, you can pull it up, you can do whatever you want. You have to have an idea of course what you really want to build in the beginning. And then you start from there. So how these, what you can do actually with everything, you can pretty much do all of the stuff you can do in every other building game. You can do circles, somewhat circles at least, you can do orbs, you can do, yeah, 
everything. And also if you want to do anything in the sky, which is a pain in the ass to do. Uh, you just do... Get this here up a little bit. You have to think about what the inner part is going to look like and uh, how you're going to want it to be. But if you want to center this exactly over the base, you just take two up <coughs> and you make this one three out. Then it's exactly centered over the base. So you can just continue up like this. And then you have this one. Don't take away those boxes. Then you have it all the way up there. So if you want to continue build up, oh, I don't have a special. I know where exactly what I'm gonna build. I'm gonna do a build later on. But you just do some help towers for yourself <coughs> if you're gonna build up in air. This will help you get a more control over what's going up there. And what's it? <coughs> what is a pain in the ass? Sometimes here is that um, with these structures here, the infrastructures, uh, those will not be so easy putting on on top from the PlayStation at least. As you can see, the box is very hard sometimes to put up on top. So you have to, most of the time, be on a higher spot than the other to build on top of it. And the same goes with some angles uh, with these <coughs> here, the large wedge. Some angles you need to actually build under. And sometimes, even if this guy wants to align easy, I'm just gonna show you here. We say you wanna do something, so this thing comes up there. <coughs> you can easily push this together like this, easy peasy. But sometimes it won't align, it won't, won't be exactly put up like that. So then sometimes you need to pull like a side thing to do that, to pull it up uh, exactly the way it is. So what kind of infrastructure do we have? <coughs> um, I need to pull down these because those ledges only snaps on the boxes. So these are pretty cool to use on uh, different occasions. If you want to do a box, uh, or if you want to do yeah, gar garage or something like that, you can do a fast garage if you want. I probably would use these guys more often because they don't take up so much memory. So how do I actually go in s on the other side here? Because it won't only snap out on the sides. So what you use is this this here, this corner post. The corner post wi will align the stuff to the side. See, will also align to the side on the other side. Sometimes it will not snap. It's mostly because of. Uh, uh, sometimes it can be because there is another corner post on the other side. Which I can show you here. <coughs> so if you s try to snap this one now, sometimes it's a pain in the ass because it will not snap because there's another corner post there. But then you have um, these guys. It's pretty cool to make uh, a round building or a round garage or anything you actually can come up with with this guy here. Sometimes it, wants, wants, it will not snap. It's mostly because it, uh, it's a third wall like that. So you need to do it. Take this guy. Down like that. 
So you can use that one as a corner. Um, I mean, you can use it as fence, anything actually to uh, make it uh, pretty cool outside. And <coughs> as I told you before, this will also align with the cubes that we already set up. Even if I only have one cube there, this guy will still align perfectly with that cube. So, and you got this bigger wall. It's good to use if you don't have enough memory to do this small. So always keep in mind the memory. It's uh, important if you want to do a, a big build. Uh, you have to th figure out uh, if it's gonna, you know, be enough memory for you. Um, <coughs> here we go also with the the garage door. That's pretty simple enough. Not sure how to do that. Go garage door is pretty cool to use in in many builds. I use it in most of my builds because, uh, as you can see here, you can't s snap it around. <coughs> But if you move it, these guys on the side, like that, so have a lower point, and you try to snap the door here, <coughs> you can actually change the the movement on it. But if you change, snap it up there, it will not change. So even if you have a build around there, <coughs> I will show you like this, uh, because some of those. Oh, I will snap now because of that one. This here you can still work inside of. Uh, uh, well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <coughs> it will still go inside of that one. So you can still move these things. Even if they're inside of the wall. Which is pretty cool. I don't know if you're gonna use some some day or gonna use it for, but it is possible. So as you can see, those garage doors is a pretty cool design to use on your build, depending on what you're gonna do though. Um, so let's check it out. So here, Scarab Storage works like this. We'll have it automatically uh, uh, go up when you come close to it. It can be a cool sound, it can be an annoying sound if it comes if too close to where you <coughs> are living. Post on most of these. <coughs> can do a really cool... Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> A really cool uh, garage design. <coughs> so don't forget to use these things here. So how do we uh, use or do a roof on this? We use this one, structural platform. It's actually one of the most cheapest floors you can get, uh, memory-wise, uh, because they take up so many spots. And they are still, uh, you know, you can still walk on them. So you can use this on a base you want to have like a balcony or we say you want to have like a balcony with windows <coughs> like this with a garage under. You can just uh, use the infrastructure to make, I mean, this kind of... Uh, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, some fence fence structure just outside. Or you can even do it even more advanced. Not really advanced, but more cool. As you can see, this won't snap on that side, but I will snap around. <coughs> just take away this one, it's still continuous snapping this. Sometimes, uh, it's pretty strange why these guys uh, destroy the snapping of the floor. But as you can see, you can do it like that. And if you want to post uh, in the end of this one, which is pretty easy to do, 
just do a semi roof like this. I want to post down to look more like a, you know, a little bit modern uh, garage house. You can do it like that. And of course, put uh, those bars here. Right now, I can't do it because it's not snapping on it. Snapping on it. So that's how you do an uh, easy garage if you want to. So these things will always be aligned with uh, the cube, the cube boxes. So what do we have next? Yeah, we have the triple wall, which is uh, very nice to use. The only thing that is a problem with there if you want a coloring, it has a massive coloring. So if you want to do something otherwise, you know, like stripes, some cooler stripes and stuff on uh, on it, then you should use if you want to have multi coloring on it. I don't. I'm not so good at coloring actually. So then you just uh, you can color this one and that one maybe. You can have a new color concept on it. So coloring you can do pretty much whatever you want. Thank god the coloring is for free. So you don't have to get stuff for doing the coloring. There's a lot of different colors. Not super much and I don't know why they are uh, combined like this. With the blue and the uh, purple and stuff. You can't choose the secondary color. But it has worked. I mean uh, if you do a lot of builds. Uh, like I'm, I love the builds. Then you will come out with the color ideas because the colors you have already used the colors you use, so you have to stripe it, you know, or do shaker boards, or well, there's a lot of stuff. Stuff I'm thinking out what to do to make it uh, a little bit other color. So going through that, you have the <laughs> the ladder. I almost never used the ladder, but it actually works with some of the structures here. Yeah, here we go. It works also. As a ladder, so you can just go up it. It can be cool with uh, some different design you want to do. I mean, you're using the jetpack, so it's no point in having it more than design or look. Look for being a, a base of some kind. So here you got these guys. I mostly use this when it's about tech or buildings. It can be like. Um, yeah, air coming in the building, or it can be more like an industrial building. You can you can make these things look pretty cool. I use this guys almost in every build I have to make it feel uh, a little bit more mechanic. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it, and if you want to do. Um, something in mid-air that's no problem because you can just take away this and it will hang in the air so you can do a lot of different structures everything will hang in the air if you just take it away it's not that there anything will collapse or get destroyed so you can have a really good anti-gravity base or whatever you want to do I assume that anti-gravity base is pretty popular because everything just floats in the air. You can do a lot of different anti-gravity stuff. You can turn these guys uh, with the, the PlayStation button. You can turn it with the uh, with the triangle button. So that will come uh, hand in handy a lot, actually, when you do different builds. Sometimes it will not align as you want to, but you can always go around that. Uh, especially with this, uh, this here. When there is a building too close to it, it will not align to that. But you can just take away the build and, or uh, take um, these pipes going the other way. And then you can meet this one in the middle. There's always loopholes how to figure out how to build. Uh, then you have this one, triangles. They're pretty cool. You can do a lot of different patterns with them. 
I use them mostly like sp for spikes and for different kind of shapes. You can use it for temple shapes, you can use it as an entrance shape, you can use it as a windowed shape on the side of the window. You can use it as statues. They will still continue to snap on each other. Not always, of course. When they go too uh, far into each other, they won't snap. We can probably change it so they will snap again. Then you have the small sloping one. I use this one a lot for roofs or... Uh, for footings on buildings or just different uh, shapes that I want to come up with. So these guys you can put in every angle possible. So again these guys are really handy when it comes to making a uh, more dynamic feel to the base's outside or exterior. But again, think about the memory. The good thing with these blocks, they, um, these guys, the infrastructure, is that they don't take so much memory. I can't show you now how much memory they take, but I think it's about 10 or 20, uh, between that, 10 or 20 of these guys you can pull, put for one percentage. So they are much cheaper than these buildings here. I actually took away all these um, now. <laughs> Big mistake. No, but um, it's very easy to align this stuff anyways, so it's not really a big deal. And you get used to aligning these to the right place. Sometimes the, the floor of the base can be a little bit problematic to see. I mean, especially now when the green is green. You can't see what color uh, if I'm aligning it right. So if this one is going to be crooked, then you're gonna have a problem in the if you're building something big and vast in the end because it will just be more and more crooked the farther you go away from each other and in the end you maybe not be able to even build where you want to build just because it's so crooked so we pushed it in pretty close Almost uh, at the edge, a little bit further out. We could say there, yeah, it should be okay. Just check so it's it's okay. Yes, it's pretty much okay aligned with the box itself. As you can see on both sides here. So just take away this one because you don't need it to have uh, these boxes as uh, aligned to with that one. So whatever you build here will make it so it's almost perfectly aligned with it. So it's pretty much your imagination that will put the stop on what you want to build. And why I'm telling this is you know, I want more people to build a little bit more advanced bases to inspire me of course also to make even uh, cooler bases and get some ideas, maybe some people come up with some other new stuff to to create. Um, how to get up a little bit higher on this. <coughs> Let's see. So you mostly use the infrastructure for the outer skeleton. I put that wrong, you have to snap this one on us that would go to... There we go. I was actually supposed to do a build. I'm not gonna do it in in this uh, stream here. I just wanted to show you the basics on it. Um, but I'm gonna do it later on.
So, again, you can just uh, encase these guys with whatever you want. You can do a lot of cool stuff. You can uh, align this one with uh, up there to make half a window, example. To make it a little bit more, what I feel actually is a little bit more science fiction. Uh, because I'm, um, you know, I like those uh, small windows with uh, just a touch of you can see out. So this one will align eventually with uh, the other one there. So you can make a pretty cool corridor like this. We can um, even make it more cooler. If you go up a little bit. Um, sometimes you need to probably work your way up. You can do that by, you know, if you ha have a problem with the building, you could just. You can build up like this if you want to. If you need to be higher up to put some other build down. So now it's okay, we can actually keep that height just for the sake of it. So now I'm just gonna actually I can snap on that, so I need to actually push the wash this one a little bit further in. There we go. It's very easy to build up high actually. So you get a little bit higher. Uh, so even if you're far away, you can still snap these guys. Uh, on maybe you have fought out something and you want to see if both the sides is uh, the same, or if uh, they you know lack something. You can always pull out uh, far away um, outside our base to make something else, you know, or take it away actually. So it's really nice to be able to uh, delete stuff or build stuff far away. Makes it a little bit uh, more dynamic, sorts. So here we're gonna continue with our cool roof. I mean, these guys will still align with it, so. And now I'm just doing a little bit a massive roof here, actually. So as you can see, it still aligns with the cube. So two equals one cube. So it's always like that. So if you want to do the math and do something uh, really advanced, you can just count out how far it is to meet the cubes. <coughs> so as you can see here, I'm doing just a little bit shape just to show you what kind of stuff you can do with these. And of course, uh, you can do a roof over, totally over this one. I can show you how. So, people always ask, hey man, how do you do uh, uh, this uh, pyramid? It's super, super easy. Uh, there was some guy that said uh, I took his uh, design of a pyramid, but you can only do one kind of pyramid. Uh, with, oh, you can actually do two, you can do it. Uh, or actually four. Is four? No, two. Because this one you could put on the high, like this, and make a pyramid where it's just really, really steep. You can do a pyramid that is like this, uh, really, really flat. Or you can do a pyramid with this one. So I don't think you can make... You can only do one angle with this one. Yeah, pretty much. So you can make three kinds of pyramids. Well, with three kinds of angles. Or you can just uh, make an angle with this one and on top you can do a flatter or whatever you want pretty much. You can do a lot of shapes. Um, but back to the to the thing here. So as you understand how to make a pyramid here, we need this one to slope down like that, right? This can be a very hard thing to do, but you can always, you know, take away stuff and put it in. It's only about your own... Uh, if you have patience, uh, your build is going to be magnificent. If you just have patience, an idea, 
Um, you can't do massive, massive builds because the your uh, you have a problem with the memory. The memory will always be in the in the backhead because the memory will sometimes screw up your total building that you were imagining, but it will also keep your um, focused on uh, how big you can build and what is possible to build. So that's a good thing. Well, for me at least, because then I can't build like a super town and stuff, because I would do that if I had too much memory and that would take forever. So making small build like this uh, makes my life a little bit easier, even if I even if I do build uh, quite a long time on the builds because I want them to be just as I imagined. Sometimes they actually come out better than I imagined, which is just something is is really awesome. When you surprise yourself, that's uh, uh yeah, it's not <laughs> it doesn't happen often, but when it does. It's amazing. So here we're gonna just do a little bit slope, sloped. As uh, all of these guys are, or takes two, I put uh, a little staircase there because it will uh, look like this eventually. So they align perfectly with each other. As you can see. So you can make a staircase, or you can make a, this slope going up to a door, or what, whatever you want to do, pretty much. As this one, you can make a, a grand opening, you can do a, a little bit of an opening here, put a box, like that. Starting to uh, get somewhere. Then do these guys, which is a, a big pipe, a cylinder, which I use a lot uh, with uh, uh, motoring-looking stuff. Or uh, I never used. I use them sometimes to make uh, what you call it to hold up structures. <coughs> And uh, sometimes inside of structures to make it look uh, like it's machinery or... Uh, yeah, you just have imagination to, to do whatever you want with these. So you have a little bit of a... Yeah, like a welcome... Welcome home... Uh, typical... Uh, what I have at my own home, of course. This kind of opening. I'm not gonna do a super long video with this. I just wanna show you what kind of stuff you can do. So just put in a little bit slope here. There. Showing you how you can do and you can have a small structure inside and you can have massive stuff uh, outside with a different uh, kind of things. So, so the story that you want to tell, you know, with your design. You can put out these guys to make it uh, even more surreal or, or uh, sci-fi. Again, you have to figure out if you want to do a base with the outer structure, a lot of uh, Design on your your outer structure. Then inside, then don't use too much memory on the inside. Use more memory on the outside. So that means don't have too much structure outside. If you want to do a base that is functional, uh, just for causes like farming or a base for your uh, for your different specialist, you can have different specialists in, th in there. And of course, you can have different. Uh, you can have the landing pads, 
and different structure, but this will take a lot of memory. Uh, you can probably you can ha only have like 14 of these before they uh, uh, become a memory problem, or even max out your memory. Or so think about that always if you want to do a design for your own pleasure's sake to make a cool building, or if you want to make a functional base. A functional base, I would just use this one and maybe you do something uh, cool uh, like a small structure with uh, uh, the decoration, I mean not the decoration, but the infrastructure and make a little bit more decoration inside make it feel like home but why I'm doing this kind of buildings because I wanted to uh, challenge myself to make an uh, exceptional outside or a cool base for me just to build out the universe a little bit. Uh, for my own mind's sake, actually. And while you're doing this, uh, you can always, you know, coloring it with the different colors you have to check out uh, what color, you know, fits best. If you want to have this color inside and some darker color outside or. There's probably some people that is much better than me in coloring stuff. I'm really not a color science. I just look up what kind of color I, I can use, the uh, base color. I mostly don't use more than three colors on the base, because otherwise it, it gets confusing for my own eyes. Uh, that's the base uh, of the structures which you can use or do. Uh, I don't think you have more structures here. You no, know, you have this one, you have the cylinder. Oh, you had the floor. The floor would not uh, connect with anything. So how you use the floor is that you just try to center it together with the already used infrastructure, like that. It will snap through most of the f most of stuff that you uh, have built, and even inside walls. So don't worry about these guys not aligning. So you do something like this, uh, like an opening, a side, like that, Co continue on a bigger structure, and it can be a really cool build. I never use the paving much, because it's a half one. You can use that of course uh, to build, because it also doesn't uh, stick with these guys. But you can use that to do like a semi stair staircase. It will only look good, but will not have any functions. Uh, you should be able to snap some of those stuff with it. Well, the pavement just wouldn't like it says. It's uh, pretty much a single structure with these guys. So these guys doesn't snap. They snap actually with each other. This pavement here. So there's some stuff you can uh, use. This is here. You can see how much structure you can do. And only your imagination will put a stop on it. Um, let's see. Yeah, we have the extra craft. If you want to have an extra craft in your building or actually at your own base, you can build the extra craft. But this platform here will take up memory. Which is pretty stupid because the nomad or the vehicle itself doesn't take up any memory so what you do you just delete it and then you will get, get back the memory uh, you want to have so you can have all these uh, vehicles up just delete it so if you're struggling with memory just delete those it will give you about 6% memory back <coughs> so that's a quite a invisible memory hog, you say. The structure will tell itself. They are pretty easy to understand and easy to use. This platform I never use it. Pretty useless. But if you want to put something else somewhere, uh, you can just use those structures there. What is cool though? Uh, with this here is that you can 
with in the camera mode you can check the base if it's too dark you can just put the sun there and check it out how it is of course only in camera mode but then you can check how the base is going and uh, what colors you have put in like mine look like a <laughs> clown at the moment Looks like shit. But well, still, it's a good uh, start of a building, perhaps. I didn't figure out what I'm supposed to do with that one, though. Uh, this is just a fun build. So, if you want to do something in the air, like this, it's a little bit uh, more advanced, or it becomes a little bit more problematic just because of the infrastructure and the rules of the infra infrastructure because as you can see you can't it's not easy to align the infrastructure from downstairs to up so we pretty much need to think up all the time to stay higher uh, than your infrastructure I just need to install this so I can fly a little bit higher So, it's super easy to build something infrastructure from on top. So then you can do, do like this, as long as you have an anchor downstairs. So here we have that one. So if you want to do like floating islands or a floating base, you have a lot of opportunity here to do whatever you want. So when you have aligned this uh, and the height of it, it's easier actually to build from downstairs. You have a better view of what you're doing. Oh shit, we are back. Okay, back again. So here I'm going to almost encase this uh, cube here. All the way up there. Uh, so uh, the problem is with this uh, is that you have so low uh, booster, so it's better to have uh, these kind of pillars around so you can get up there. So as you see, you have this uh, cube. It's pretty much centered together with these guys. So here you go, you can just put a little bit of um, a door in and we can check it out. Let's put the lights up. So it's totally encased. You can still see these guys but you can also do uh, the other one. You don't have to do the windowed one because then you don't see these uh, squares. You will see them sometimes, but not, not as often as with uh, these guys. So you can do a floating uh, whatever encased, like a ship or whatever I, I've done. Uh, you don't have to do what I've done, but you can do uh, different floating, uh, even a floating village if you want to. I mean, I don't like when uh, you just me personally I don't care if people doing it but I'm not a fan of the you know the structures 
these structures. And have them floating in the air. I mean, it's not really... I did this actually in some of my older bases. But when I get to you... When I get got used to using these infrastructure, I never go back to this guy here. You can of course put... Um, Oh, that's on the these guys. I will show you. Some cool structure you can do with uh, with the cupid rooms is the legs, as they don't take too much memory up. You can have them uh, like if you have a floating base, or if you want to just do something uh, with your fantasy. Um, that you have maybe a base um, that has some different legs out. I'll show you. Maybe you have uh, these and you have some support legs on the sides. But this will also take up a little bit of memory. So there's two different. It's this one and it's the four one. Depending on your design, of course, uh, you can uh, do whatever you want. You have the windows too. Different windows uh, for the cube. This one is also memory hog a little bit because you still have the memory of the cube and you also have the memory of the window. So it's a double up, uh, double up memory pretty much. So it's a uh, make sure that you have enough memory to apply those windows otherwise you have a really cool windows here you have the that one you have the the round one which I like it's a pretty much uh, almost like subnautica like underwater kind of uh, feel to it you have the big window big window is pretty cool too to use I mean corridors or stuff like that You have the solid cube, which you can use also. Not that I have much use for it, but you can't put any doors on it. As you can see, it's just a solid cube. That one should also, I mean, that's pretty much a memory hog in itself. What do we have more here? We have the side. Ah, oh, let's take away this one. We have the side. Thing we can be pretty cool to use if you want to have a, a rounded base. The only problem with this uh, side here, it, it will actually take away um, possibility to put on specialist in there. But you can put on some decorations on it and make it uh, pretty awesome because inside it will look uh, pretty good rounded. So if you just out for a normal kind of base feel. You see that this is uh, pretty sweet to have. And just uh, some kind of windows. So you can continue making a half round base with some window tops. And to make it even more. Uh, let's see. More advanced. You can have like a little balcony up there. Could be cool to have a balcony, right? You just put a infrastructure <laughs> if it wants to snap up there. You pull it out like this, and you go down even further. You take away this there. Sometimes you have to play with these a lot make exactly what you want. Then we put one of these here a little bit. Come on, that way out. No, there we go. And then you can have a little balcony on that one. Uh. 
So that's the Cupid rooms. You can just do a base like this, or not really like this, but use the Cupid rooms. But uh, they will also be a memory hog in itself. Uh, if you want to do agriculture, I wouldn't recommend doing anything inside of these cubes more than it looks better then use uh, self-standing biodomes because that will give you a lot of space with flowers uh, for flowers and it will not take up so much memory versus how many flowers you can get into one of those biodomes they are very expensive now though they actually cost uh, living glass uh, which is a pain in the ass to get so there are some uh, some tips I don't know if we have any more stuff here we can of, of course line a, a bridge from these places down if we want to have like a small cottage uh, yeah a little bit of uh, higher up uh, village or whatnot. You have a lot of decors, decorations you can put in. Yeah, for your own taste. I mean you can put in pretty much anything in here. This will also of course um, use memory. You can change the decor with your um, triangle button. And do pretty much any decor you want uh, that is of course in the list of it so here you go I have a little balcony you can put some cool banners out here put a little bit of uh, as this one doesn't snap up it snaps down you see like that on uh, these uh, it's great, but you can still go further up when you have uh, done the downsized. Again, to check uh, if you have painted some special places or if you have missed something, always go out in the camera mode and check it out. So you can move the sun while pressing right the stick button. You can move the sun exactly where you're looking, so you can check every angle, use the top sun to see most of the parts, how the color looks, and how the base uh, looks in general. Um, now we come to the, the light parts. Lights will always, uh, will also be a memory hog in itself because you can only put out I think it is uh, uh, for two or three before it actually turns into one percentage so making lights you have to have that in your um, in your calculations so there's different lights green red purple and white if you're gonna use uh, or blue too actually and yellow um, if you're gonna use th this as always depends on your feel of course what kind of feel you want to have for the base it's gonna be blue a little bit more red or what kind of feel do you want it to have uh, this one is the spotlight it doesn't do much of a spotlight but it's good to have sometimes but think about how it will affect your memory too and if they actually fit in you can paint these guys too and uh, with different kind of paintings just as the base which is pretty awesome I use this one a lot I feel this one is uh, a little bit more uh, rounded for everyday use I have this one is pretty cool actually I use this one as a decoration inside not much outside on tables and stuff uh, why don't use it outside it's because it um, stands up like this it's a little bit 
Scorchy. Maybe on the interior outside I would use it. Maybe somebody comes up with a super idea using it. But with those lights you can do a really good and cool uh, dark. Uh, if you do a dark base, you can do a really cool um, feeling to the inside of it. Because the lights do so much um, more uh, dynamics to a base when you are inside. You have the decals, which you can use to uh, maybe if you want to do a hangar or something outside. You have 77 on it, or you have to, of course, align this however you want. I think that the numbers will uh, be in the color you have put in. But the, the decals is uh, pretty much the same color. But these guys also take up memory. Think about that. They pretty much graffiti the whole shit. <laughs> Painting is uh, pretty cool in this game. Uh, you can do it so much, so easy. So if you miss the spot, you can do it really far away. Like that. If you feel like, oh, I don't know if that color fits, you know, with that, with that light. So maybe I have to, you know, check out the different colors with the light, how it actually affects it. If you want to do a dark one. And if these colors works with the, uh, let's see if we can get, works with the other decal. Yeah. I always think about the secondary um, secondary color on these ones because it will light up some of the different areas and maybe it will even hi highlight the stuff you don't want to be highlighted so just uh, uh, check around the colors like this maybe you have a base that doesn't want to have that very light colors on the on the ridge I don't use much of those they also take up memory and if you want to do some design in general they have uh, no purpose really because I'm not doing a base that is functional in a way so that's uh, Exocraft, go through that the structures if you're totally new to this game I can show you how the structures um, look like inside So here we got the, the square structure. It's pretty much a fixed structure for you, so it's very easy to uh, to use. The only problem with these structures is that if you have a specialist, you can only have one specialist in one structure. So you need to put uh, one more, another specialist in another structure. So you can see here, which can be a waste of space uh, in general. So. There is actually better to use the cubes for the specialists because they don't have that restriction. As you can see here. We do one more. Two to the sides. Bam, bit boom. So if I want to have the specialists really close to each other. I just use this uh, cube room because they can actually be super close. So what you can do with these uh, cubes to enclose or doing a little bit more home, you can use the walls. So you can actually do a, almost a, yeah you can do a, a maze if you want to. I use it to... Um, make the base even if you have just a small inner if you use the walls it will feel like it's even bigger inside like this 
the cubes is a little bit different to think about than uh, the big bases like this because they snap on each other uh, differently. So how you get up here to the other place is that you use these ladders. You can also twist this ladder with the triangle button. So if you want to have this one locked with the entrance, you can just push it like that. Then you go up. So you can always build from inside too, from these bases here. You build outwards like this. The snapping is amazing in this game. It's really easy. Makes it so much... Uh, uh, it's a long time I've been in a game that snaps things so easy as this one. Then you have the turned one. You can do a whole circle around actually. Like that. You can do some really cool base design with just those. Um, the only problem is they really don't snap with uh, the cupid rooms if you don't have another... I'll show you. Most of the... Structure. I always go past these guys. Room parts. No structures yet. So this works really good. I have uh, the specialists, of course, in there. They will snap with the cubes. This one too. Even this one. So if you want to have this one snapping with the base, that's not really a problem. Most of these structures out works together. The only thing that doesn't work together is um, I'm outside. It's the structure in itself. They don't snap with this. They snap on top. They don't snap on the side. So you still need a corridor to make it snap. These actually snap on a special alignment like this. Actually, do some cool stuff with that. Maybe like that. Uh, back to the cubes. So, to make the cubes going up, you always have to think about uh, the cubes can be a little bit pain in the ass because if you're gonna make a ramp which you can do here. The thing is that outside it has to be a void. It can't be any structure behind there. It has to be a void. So if you want to do a ramp you have to calculate that okay I need to have a void out there otherwise the ramp will not work. But the ramp is, uh, I like the ramp very much. I haven't used it so much, I use it sometimes uh, because it needs a little bit more calculation and the base can be a little bit uh, screwed because of the ramp. Um, the cube opens up to the other cube, like this. Which can also be a problem, but then you have the solution, which is the floor. You can use the floor to close the gap. It will always have this upper body kind of feel to it. But um, you get used to it. And what's good with the floor, it actually connects with, um, uh, with these ones. The ladders. So you can always come up and down the cupid. Or use, of course the ramp which we have here so there are always two ways to get up into cube rooms I like the cube rooms they give a little bit more open uh, feel than these uh, generated uh, big uh, thingies those can of course have um, 
windows on too. This here. You can see. The only problem with that is that they also take up memory. Extra memory because you put it in the box. So You can't put uh, windows on the already windowed, um, windowed boxes. You can change them however. Uh, pressing down L. I think L2? L1. L1. You hold down. Then you can color it. You can do different materials. I'll go through that soon. And you can also delete it. Then you just open it and you can just change it to the solid ones. Then you can put a window in if you want to. And we have a different uh, feel to it. Pretty much most of that. You have this one, the curved uh, roof, which is very nice to have as an uh, out view of your base if you have a higher spot. Mostly use that as a um, yeah, like a you know viewpoint or a dining room feeling kind of stuff. Show you decorations. There's a lot of people that's much better than me decorating. I'm not the best decorator in the world. It gets a little bit uh, more feeling to it. I think we're getting up to the frequency of uh, enough. Now we still have a lot of memory left. So let's go check it out if we have more of the um, Cupid rooms we need to go through. Ah, this one is pretty cool actually too. This can do a lot of difference. As you see, uh, this guy will not snap to these structures. It will stra snap to the normal uh, squared structures. You can make a, a cool design with the base if you do this like an understructure. And then you have something on top. Oh crap. I played around a lot with the cube rooms before. To make a pretty cool structure with just the cube ones. But uh, you cannot do that uh, with these guys. You cannot snap. Uh, not that one, you can snap uh, these guys too to put like a feeling of uh, of those, you know, those structures down. Which is a sad thing because I mean they are structured for uh, like a square, so why not? But what you do instead is that you put up. Oh crapper. Put up a cube and then you put down these, then you delete it, then you put down that one. So then you still have the effect of it uh, and you have sort of snapped it on it. So you can always go around these kind of features. Just use your imagination. This is a uh, that one, the room, I mean the roof. Uh, this roof will only work on the solid object. This room, uh, I mean roof structure is mostly for design purposes. It can be cool if uh, you like that kind of roof. I mostly use my own roofing with these guys make it a little bit more exotic. So that's pretty much all the Cupid uh, stuff you can use and how you can use it. You can snap it on mostly uh, all of the Cupid stuff. Go through the decals, these got containers just the what it is. We go through the infrastructure and the snapping on it. 
Yeah, we've gone through most of it. Cool. If there is anything you're wondering about, just tell me. And uh, I will try to help you out with it. Decoration is not really that important for people who want to decorate inside. The farming means almost pretty much decoration. Lights. I got through the lights. Cool. Well, now we have the other one that can be uh, a very interesting thing for most of the people because it's also a coloring scheme in itself. You have the colors, which is always two colors, and then you have the material. So here we have the normal material, as you can see. Here you have a little bit more. Um, like scraped metal feel to it, a little bit more old. This is very m matte, so you don't see the it do uh, light doesn't reflect on it as good as this one. So if you want to do these things, I mostly do these guys on tubes. I still want to keep the matte coloring on my bases, but it's a taste thing. I feel that um, for me this one is cooler with um, as you can see the feeling of old it makes it so cool and then uh, you can put colors on it like red maybe then we can put some actually I think we can use this one so we can see yeah. so that's one thing you can do with the material. You can also change the material of course to this one. It highlights the metal a little bit more between the coloring as you can see here. Makes it a little bit smoother highlighting the metal which can be cool to use in different uh, different shapes or forms. And then you have this one. It's also a little bit more feel of uh, uh, almost like a, uh, I can't say wood really maybe plywood or something actually industrial wood or rubber or that kind of feel you can apply this to different kinds of stuff you can also of course color everything that you can uh, you can highlight but you can't highlight the <laughs> exotic crafts I mean extra crafts which is a pity could be cool so there's a lot of dynamics uh, you can do with the base in itself to make it yours and feel like it's really really yours and something you have built and be proud of. And if you do any cool builds, please let me know so I can uh, check it out or come to your base and check it out and get inspired. Because there's a lot of stuff uh, I haven't gone through yet. When it comes with design. Cool. Well, that's pretty much it. That's a lot of stuff. Uh, I was only going to be take like one minute or uh, not one minute, but 10, 15 minutes. It was one hour. It's just me. I'm a little bit uh, confused. Or English is not really my first language. So I have to think a little bit what I'm saying, and I don't have the words for everything. So I'm sorry about that. I hope you understand. I hope you got. I uh, uh, hope you got this down now. And I hope to see something awesome from you guys. So, uh, I've seen a lot of pyramids, but I haven't seen anything really cool uh, structure that people have done. So I hope somebody out there, a real builder, will you know, sweep me off my feet and say, What the hell is this? So if you know anybody doing the science and stuff, please hook me up uh, with that guy or her. Well, that's pretty much everything for me. We could take a 
<laughs> Look at this base. So, <laughs> so crazy. But I've gone through. If I don't. Uh, if I missed something. I can take that in a faster note later on. <laughs> what a mess, right? What a mess. But I hope, hope you got some ideas or get the influence by it. Uh, I just wanted to do this for my friends pretty much, so I hope they are watching and, and get inspired so they can build some cooler bases. Well, thanks for me. Thanks for watching, guys. See you out there in the universe. Bye-bye.